Good morning. Let us study today one problem often asked in CSIR gate and how to derive radial probability function. This is called the radial probability function. How it is derived? We have already studied the probability function. We have already studied the probability function. This is simple probability density function and this is a radial probability distribution function 4 pi r squared. This is the probability density function, probability distribution function. If you multiply 4 pi r squared, then it is called radial probability distribution function or radial probability density function. How it is derived? And the maximum, the most probable distance, how far the electron is away from the nucleus for oneness orbital. For oneness orbital, for oneness orbital, how far the nucleus is away from the nucleus, the most probability of finding the electron. For oneness orbital, the most um, probable distance, that is the maximum probability of finding the electron from the away from the nucleus, that is this distance. This is the probability function. This is the probability. This is the probability density. It is plotted against the distance. Distance away from the nucleus. This is called radial probability curve. Radial probability radial distribution curve for oneness orbital. Oneness orbital. From this curve, from this curve, the maximum probability of finding the electron at this distance. At this distance. The probability of finding the electron is high. For example, uh, close, the electron is not close to the nucleus. The electron is uh, uh, at particular distance. This is, at, this is zero distance. At nucleus, the electron density is zero. So the electron density, the probability increases. The probability density increases. At this uh, distance, the, the electron is most likely found. That is the uh, most probable distance. So let us See now how to calculate this most probable distance of the electron from the nucleus for the ground state of hydrogen atom. When, when the hydrogen atom is in ground state, the electron is oneness one. The electron is present in oneness orbital. Therefore, the wave function, the wave function obtained by the wave function for oneness orbital of hydrogen atom is obtained by solving the Schrodinger wave equation. This is obtained by solving the Schrodinger wave equation. We have studied in hydrogen atom problem. Please watch again. For hydrogen atom, this is for hydrogen light atom. This is the wave function for hydrogen light atom. For hydrogen atom, z equal to 1. Substitute z equal to 1. This is simplified as for as, as equation number 1. And a naught is the whole radius or is the distance away, distance from the nucleus electron. Okay, and the A0 is the Bohr radius. And the A0 is the Bohr radius. We have studied the value. In atomic units, in general, in atomic units, A0 equal to 1. It is uh, considered as 1. Therefore, in general, in the last class, we have studied um, in the atomic, in terms of atomic units. Okay. Now, let us say, uh, uh, this is the nucleus, and this is the radius of the electron from the nucleus. And the probability of finding the electron within this small distance b r. Since the oneness orbital is spherically symmetric, this is a volume element, not a d r, this is a volume element. Therefore, the probability of finding the electron within this volume element b r, within this distance, is uh, this is the formula. Now, how it is it obtained? Volume of sphere equal to 4 by 3. The volume of sphere, whole sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube, but we need only this volume element, this distance, therefore dv on, let us say, differentiate this, differentiating this, dv so equal to 4 pi 3, differentiating this, 3 r square dr, therefore on cancelling 4 pi r square dr, and therefore see the probability density within this. This is the probability density. This is called this function is called probability density function. This is the probability of finding the electron within per unit area, per unit distance, or per unit area, or per unit volume. If it is uh, 
particle in one dimensional block per unit area. The probability density function per unit distance for three dimensional block, this is the volume element. Okay, therefore, the probability of finding electron within this volume element equal to 4 pi r square psi square modulus psi square 4 pi r square dr. The radial probability function or radial probability dense distribution function in PR equal to then you take out this 4 pi r square modulus psi square. This is called this function is called radial probability density function. This function is called radial probability distribution function. Uh, just this function is called the probability density function. That is the probability of finding the electron electron per unit length. Therefore, 4 pi r square. This is the radial probability density function. Now let us this is a mathematical function. The wave function is a mathematical function. It can be plotted the radial curve, the radial plot, radial curve obtained for one s orbital is as shown here. This is an exponential function and the negative sign is there, therefore exponential decrease with the, with the distance. As the distance increases, the the electron is not is not is close to the nucleus. The electron is close to the nucleus as you see here. There are a large distance, the electron is not present. Okay? Because one s orbital, the electron, electron in one s orbital is close to the nucleus. Close to the nucleus. Let us now plot the probable the probability radial density function versus uh, distance of the electron from the nucleus. This curve is called the radial probability curve, or this curve is called radial distribution curve. We have plot, we have plot out. Radial probability density versus distance. Distance is called radial probability curve for one s orbital. If you look, if you see the probability of this is the probability of finding the electron near the nucleus is zero, and it increases at particular distance. See, at particular distance, the probability is very high. The most this is called the most probable distance. This is R equal to A naught. This is the most probable distance for one s orbital. How it is? It can be obtained by plotting the curve. It can be obtained by plotting the curve. How it is obtained mathematically? That is at maximum. You have studied using maximum minimum uh, mathematical conditions. At the maximum probability, dPr by dr. This is PR. Therefore, dPr by dr equal to zero. Let us substitute 4 pi r square, that is pr equal to 4 pi r square modular psi square, 4 pi r square 1 by pi, that is psi square on me. Therefore, e power is on square e power 2, e power minus 2 or a, a naught. Therefore, pr equal to, you take out, and the next dpr by dr is equal to 0. Therefore, let us differentiate this, let us differentiate this function. There are two variables u v. This uh, r square is u, and this is this exponential function is v. The formula is here. Therefore, 4 by a3. Let us take this, this as constant. U as constant. Let us uh, differentiate this. Differentiating this, what we will get is uh, minus 2 a naught. This is constant. Okay, minus 2 by a naught e power minus 2 or by a naught. In in the case of integration. It will be upside down because the, this minus 2 by a naught will come uh, denominator. Here multi multiply, therefore it will be a naught by 2 in the case of integration. Okay, plus and uh, let us take this as constant now. This as constant and uh, a difference is 2 or okay, equal to 0. Mathematically, this, uh, this term is equal to 0 as well as this term is equal to 0. Okay, this term equal to 0 and um, because this is equal to 0, a into b equal to 0 means a equal to 0, this is a let us say, b equal to b, a into b equal to 0, therefore a equal to 0, b equal to 0, therefore this, uh, um, this is also equal to 0, therefore you can, um, on simplification, okay, on cancelling, you will get r equal to a naught, where r is the most probable distance, that is, the maximum probability is uh, 
found that this is the, the maximum probability, the maximum thing, the maximum probability is found at this distance, that is the most probable distance equal to one more radius, one more radius. Okay. So in this we are studying how to derive the radial probability density function. Okay. The probability of finding the electron within this uh, element, within this small element. Thank you for watching.